Right, that's what we're at today. Making some gallows brackets. Appears to be architect's name and such like on the bottom of the drawing, so I think uh, it's a little bit of a serious one. But basically, uh, 600 high, 350 uh, coming out, 200 by 200 gusset, three holes for M16 bolts. Material is, well, they've described it as a 350 by 600 by 12 millimeter deep, so I am going 100 mil. So I've got three pieces of 100 by 12 flat. Um, we'll get a start by drilling them, then we'll cut them up and make up them gallows brackets. I think, um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put my what, first holes and no measurements there, so they look about 50 mil down, maybe 75 up, that'll definitely be 300 in the middle, so it hits in a brick. Um, that's about as much detail as we've got, don't tell us any kind of weld, how much we're welding or size of weld so we'll um we'll just go ahead with that Right, what needs to take place now before we start the weld up and all our air drums are deafened is uh, basically need a bit of a nice flat level surface that we can work on both of them are square so we'll square off here then we'll put our braces in we'll probably make the other one on top of the on top of that um, should really have a steel bench but at the moment we don't so we're just earthing out here Tack all that lot together and see what is what. I 
I don't know who thought of this 200 square thing here, but yeah. That's the way it's drawn and that's the way we're making it. massive, I don't know if you can see it here, but end up with a massive fillet just like that, which we're going to have to fill it, and we really don't want to do that, so just go ahead and slide that, uh, grind that away. Just took the edges off there, which if you can see, it's just going to make that a lot smaller in there. Because we've got no um, very actual starting out points such on the drawing or, or, or measuring points from or to, I'm just going to measure from there. From the external corners of the bracket, the theory being that if it's ever checked the logical place will be if you're going to take from there I don't know that's usually where stuff takes place but I'm just gonna get that somewhat like in there and there because we know that all three pieces are the same and we know that that 200 mark will be the same and it will come to roughly the same point on here um, then um, and it, they will all look the same and it doesn't really make a lot of difference it doesn't make a lot of difference so long as they're not, well as long as they're all the same that's the main thing that we're aiming for you know so I'm just going to crack on get these all sort of welded up and tacked up take it from there Because we're going to weld this here what's going to happen is that is going to that weld is first going to expand then contract and this here uh, is going to go like that don't really want that don't really want to have to start the gas up to bend it back so what we're going to do this weld here we're going to clamp it down um, probably going to put a pack in type Thing, some washers, maybe. Now you don't know what it's going to do until you do it, so you'll probably just start with something like that. No, kind of, actually, for it. Clamp that there and then we'll stress that down past it. And then we'll whip it out again. Take a looky looky look see. That one's still pen. Shit. Um, I might just wash one down there. Know what are you gonna say? I'm just gonna do it off camera. I'm gonna leave the internals. I just want to see someone in there. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in the I'll just keep you out here. Time is money. Not like having done something like that, that is it?
Right, there's three lovely brackets. Uh, Right, thanks for watching. See you on the next uh, fabrication job.